So I have a question for you. When you go onto YouTube, are you looking for something specific? Are you just kind of browsing the different videos that YouTube suggests to you? Or do you kind of follow certain subscriptions that you've subscribed to, certain people that you've subscribed to? I'm genuinely curious because sometimes as a video creator, I don't even know what to, to make. Like sometimes I'm like, like the last second, like, well, what video should I make? You know, I'm just, I'm just pulling ideas out of a, out of a metaphysical hat where here's an idea and creating what I create. But I realized I'm creating these videos for you. I mean, I'm not creating the, these videos for me. I don't, I mean, I do occasionally rewatch my own videos because I sometimes forget techniques that I've worked on. That's beside the point. I am creating these videos for you to help you learn and do better. So it got me to wonder, what do you want to see? When you come to YouTube, what are you looking for? Are there specific things that you're looking for? I'm actually genuinely curious how, how this works. So let me know in the comments, like the, do you follow certain people that you like? Do you look for certain things? Is there something you haven't found? But for this video, we are going to go over how you should start editing a photo. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. It's always good to see you again. Today, I'm gonna show you the method that I use to start working on photos. Now, there are tons of ways to do this. You can slap on a preset right off the bat. You can just completely go crazy and start working on different edits here. But there is a way to take your raw image, if that's what you shoot, or your, your JPEG image, get it to the best condition that it can be to then edit you know, proper white balance, proper whites and blacks, pop proper this, that, and the other thing. Then you can slap on a preset or edit as you like. You can adjust these settings all you want, but you can actually see the image and see what you're looking at and then go from there and create a style from there. So this is a super simple video, super short. So let's get into Lightroom and get started. All right, so here's this image of me gazing majestically off of Table Mountain in South Africa. It was, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It was kind of foggy over here. So <laughs> just for the picture, for the gram, you know, even though I don't even think I've ever posted this photo. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do for this photo is I'm gonna drop the highlights. Uh, probably not that much, maybe to there. And then I'm gonna raise the shadows, get some details back. Then I'm gonna set the white and black points. Now, the easiest way to do this is to press and hold Alt or Option, and then click. You'll get a black screen for the white. You slide it until you see white. And then for the blacks, you're gonna press and hold Option, Alter Option again, click the black slider, drag until you see a color. Uh, so right there is your optimum black point. So there is your optimum black and white point giving you the best dynamic range to start your editing from. Now you can get creative here and you can then add some contrast, add a little bit of exposure. I would say drop a little bit of the clarity. I always like that kind of soft look add a little bit of dehaze and maybe reduce some saturation and add some vibrance. So just with that, we have gone from this to that. Those were very, very quick adjustments. Now, really fast, you can make, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hello. Hey, do we have coffee? coffee phone call, can never have too much coffee, but we had just bought coffee, so we don't need it. So I wanna go back to the whites and blacks really quick. Now. If you double click the slider, you can reset them. So like I said, you can push and hold alter option and then adjust the sliders, but you can also push and hold shift and then double click on the sliders and Lightroom will automatically set it to almost that exact point that you set it with the option, alter option option. Now, sometimes it's a little off. So I always recommend double checking it and seeing if it works, but this looks like it did really, really good. So that's a quick, fast way to set your photo to be properly ready to be edited. Now for this one, I am going to just go ahead and slap one of my presets on from my Son of a Beach preset pack, which is available on my website. We're going to do Day at the Beach, I believe. Okay, calm down there, Lightroom. Yeah, we're gonna do Day at the Beach preset because for me, this looks very, very vintagey, brings out the really nice brown in the, in the rocks. And then I'm gonna make a couple adjustments. I'm gonna raise the magenta. I am going to lower, I'm gonna raise the dehaze. And I'm actually gonna go into the masks because this automatically applies masks, which is a great tool that I added to presets to really make your image pop. 
I'm gonna go to the background and I'm gonna actually lower, yep, there we go, lower that. Good, and then we're gonna come down to uh, the black point here, we're gonna raise that. So we're actually just doing a style edit at this point. And then I'm gonna come down to the tone curve. Notice how I have a really nice up curve here. Here's a good, really good tip. If you are adjusting the black point on the tone curve, this point right here, if you raise that and you try and set your white and black point with the, the method I just taught you, if you push and hold Alt or Option, you will never get a black point because you raised it. So there is no true black in the image, but it will look like crap. So just make a note there. If you're trying to set your white and black point and you're getting that problem, that's probably because the tone curve is jacked up on the, the black point. Remember that. Now I did notice that the image, the white balance looks a little off. So we're actually gonna come up here, we're gonna jack up the orange, we're gonna warm it up, and then we're gonna add a little bit more green to it. And you'll see what I mean. It gives it that kind of faded, rocky, really nice look. So this image is looking awesome. Now for our last edit, I'm just gonna press Shift M to create a radial gradient. I'm gonna put it around me, press invert, and I'm just gonna drag the, the, the exposure down to bring the, int, the bring the, no, oh, I can't even talk, oh, words. Bring all of the attention to me for this photo. Now I look like I'm glowing a little, so I don't like that. So we're gonna come here, that's why we're gonna take these highlights and we're just gonna drop the highlights down on me so I look more part of the scene and less angelic. <laughs> Not quite. Anyways, so that is the quick way to set up your photo. Obviously we went a lot farther than that, but I figured you'd like to see a little bit of a stylistic edit as well. So at this point, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, again, comment below and let me know what what you go to YouTube for. Do you follow people? Do you look for people? Anything like that, like whatever. Just let's let's get a conversation going and uh, see what we can work out. <laughs> Anyways, good to see you again. Uh, just so you know, YouTube recommends this video. I personally recommend this video. And if you wanna subscribe, just hit this button right here. I'll see you guys in the next video.